What's up guys? I wanted to make a video today um, and just go over some of the parts that I'm going to be using to build my engine. Uh, it's the Iron LS1 build if you've been following along. I just kind of want to explain which parts I use, um, why I'm using them, and maybe give you a rough idea how much they cost. By seeing what I'm doing and uh, seeing what I'm using, maybe it can help you out with your own build. <laughs> Okay, so the first thing we're going to look at here is the timing chain kit that I got. I got it off Rock Auto. I think it was around $50 to $60. It definitely wasn't uh, anywhere near the most expensive one. I don't think it was the cheapest one either. Um, it came with the chain. This is the crankshaft sprocket and then the camshaft sprocket. Just to give you an idea of one of the reasons I got this one, this is actually supposed to be an LS2 timing chain. And this is the timing chain that came off the engine. Hopefully you can see on the video, but this chain, the links are almost about twice as thick as these ones, so it's gonna have quite a bit more strength. Um, next we got the lifters here. I got these off of Amazon, and they were about $100 for the whole set, um, so 16 lifters. There's nothing too special about these. I just decided I would go ahead and replace there's nothing too special about these. I just decided to go ahead and replace them because it wasn't terribly expensive and it's not something I want to have to deal with in the future. I just wanted to uh, replace them and be done with it. These are the rocker arms that I got that I'm going to put on the engine. These are a stock LS rocker arm. I actually made a video showing me pulling these out of a junkyard, but I am planning on replacing the bearings in these. I haven't got the bearings yet but I'm gonna do that in a future video. Up next are the head bolts that I'm gonna be using. These are made by Fell Pro, as you can see here. I've just heard good things about Fell Pro and they weren't terribly expensive, so I decided to go with them. For one set of these head bolts, it's about $15, but that only does one head, so you have to do, so you have to buy two kits so it'll run you close to $30, and I got these off of the Rock Auto website. Another head bolt you may consider is the ARP bolts. I've heard that they're good and people like them. One of the main features of those bolts is that you can reuse them. They're a little more expensive though. I think they're around $100 or so. I decided to just go with these because if everything goes the way I hope, I'm not planning on swapping out the heads anytime soon. I figured that paying more for bolts that I could reuse wasn't really going to do me any good. And that brings us to the head that I'm actually going to be putting on the engine. Um, this is a stock LS head. It's the 799 casting, which from everything that I've read is basically the same as the 243 heads which are on the LS6 engines except that the valves are a little different. These heads come stock on the 5.3 liter engine that's in trucks and Suburbans and Tahoes and things like that. I think from years like 07 up to I'm not sure what year, 11 or 12 or something. They're not a huge difference from the heads that I have on my truck, which is the first generation 5.3 heads. The main differences between these and the heads that are on mine right now, the runners are supposed to be a slightly bigger. Um, I think they're about 5% bigger, so you can expect about 5% more airflow. I think I've read that the valves are actually slightly larger and then the combustion chamber is actually slightly smaller, which is gonna give us a little better compression. So there's not a huge difference. I got these off eBay, they were used. Um, they were $350. From all the research that I've done, it seems like with the LS engines, the two things that um, really uh, give you the most power when you're building your engine are gonna be your heads and the camshaft that you choose. One of the things I'm going to be doing with these heads is replacing these springs. So if you're interested in seeing that, just subscribe to my channel by hitting my logo uh, because I'll make another video of that. I've actually already created a video of me doing a review on these. These are the LS1 pistons. I got these off Rock Auto. They were, I think they were under $200. I don't remember the exact price. Um, and then I'm going to have the, the engine tech 
piston rings um, installed along with these pistons. All right guys, so that gives you an idea of the parts that I'm gonna be using on my build. There's so many parts for these LS engines that sometimes it's hard to choose what you wanna do. There's probably plenty other parts that I'm gonna be using on the engine that I don't have here that I didn't show. So if you have any questions, just put them in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer them. The next video that I'm gonna be making is, uh, I'm gonna be going over the camshaft that I'm gonna be using. I already have it, I got it from Texas Speed. The camshaft that I got from Texas Speed is the low lift stage one truck cam. So in that next video, I'll go over why I decided to get that camshaft and the specs on it and everything like that. So remember to subscribe to my channel and like and share the video, thanks.